Hi, I'm Chad Grant, executive chef at Aperitif Restaurant and Bar in Woodbury. Today we're going to talk about uh, tomatoes. Uh, middle of the winter, especially us Midwestern uh, Northland people, experience tomatoes that go into a lesser quality of product than what we experience in the, uh, towards the end of the summer. But we can always preserve a little bit of flavor with a real simple technique just by roasting them. What we have here is just some Roma tomatoes. We've cut the stems off the top. We've just cut them right in half. And this is as simple as it gets for making tomato sauces at home that have a lot of flavor. You just want to go over them with a good amount of salt. That starts to season the tomato. Um, you don't want to go too much, but you do want to season pretty aggressively. You know, we're, we're probably using about close to a tablespoon overall here. And not quite as much with the pepper, but you want, to, you want them to be seasoned. So you go over the top and just season the, the half, the open side with salt and pepper. And now we have a pure olive oil, extra virgin. Um, you d when, when we're doing things like this with simple flavors where you're just trying to accent the tomato flavor, you, it's okay to use an extra virgin olive oil, uh, one of the better, more expensive ones. Um, when you're using cooking techniques that require high heat and a lot of other ingredients, you don't, you don't want to use this because it's really a waste of money. But in an ingredient like this where we're really going to taste the tomato and the olive oil flavor, it's okay to use the, the more expensive stuff, the extra virgin. And you just really want to go over the top like this. And just not too much because, you know, some of it goes off of the tomato, but you just want enough to coat the tomato. You can toss them in a bowl as well. This is how we just do it at the restaurant. From there, you're going to go into a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes. And uh, they'll take on, they'll accent the flavors. The salt brings out the tomato flavor. The pepper, it's all seasoned already. When they come out of the oven, this is what they look like. And from here, you can throw these right in your blender after this and just puree them. They're already seasoned with salt and pepper. And if you throw that in the blender and puree it, you have yourself a tomato sauce, which can be used for any purposes that tomato sauce is used for, pastas, you know, all sorts of different applications. These are, if you don't want to puree them, you can just rough chop over them, and you can always just toss that into a pasta or salads. It works out really well. But this is a way to bring out a lot of tomato flavor from tomatoes that aren't of the best quality in the middle of winter.